Andrew are actually at one with the entire universe. No, no, I want. That's what not I the one I went on. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have that one. No, 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 no totally different. No, no Ray really? Got, Ray got the group, group therapy. Too. Excuse me, Ray. The California one. Yes. Did you have? Did you have? Oh, the Shepherd's Bush one. Oh, yeah, it looks like the same. Was that the Gila monsters coming out of the eyes and the yeah. tongue on fire trick? That's that right. One? Yeah, right. Well, now, that one exists too, but that? that's the other side of the coin. So you're going to balance off heaven and hell, and uh, you know, Aldous Huxley's book, The Doors of Perception. If anyone reads any more, I'd highly advise uh, looking into Aldous Huxley's book, The Doors of Perception. If you want to know what psychedelic is all about, that will explain it to you. Towards the late 60s, a lot of police were coming to your gigs and there was a lot of hostility. What was it like playing under those circumstances? That was insane. The cops were lining the stage between me and you guys. It's a row of cops. Now, I don't know whether they were to protect us from you or to protect you from us or how it worked, but uh, Morrison was actually busted. Uh, you know, Miami happened and... Did he it, actually expose himself? Because that was the charge. That was the charge. That was one of the charges. He was up on four charges. Uh, obscenity, drunkenness, uh, filth and... Singing uh, in a minor and, key oh, in a public place, things like that. Something like that. An overlong member, I think. <laughs> so he did expose himself? Well, we're not sure. There was a stack of photos entered into to evidence, 200 photos, and not one, having photos of everything, not one of the photos did the ivory shaft appear. Uh, but you were sitting there, uh, from where you sat. From where, from where I sat, I didn't see it. He right. was holding his shirt in front of him and kind of moving it. He'd taken his shirt off, moving it back and forth, saying, I'm going to show it to you, I'm going to show it to you. Watch this, watch this. Hey, did you see it? Hey, there it was. And look at, there it is, there it is. And whether or not it was ever seen, I'm not sure. Yeah. And I think had it been seen, well, there would have been women sighing and perhaps weeping and screaming with joy. I, I'm not sure what. Well, it uh, depends how big it actually was there, right? I mean, there was a big auditorium we're talking about. Well, it wasn't that big. The, oh, the auditorium. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> now, what was it like uh, working with somebody who really took life well, to the edge and beyond it, in fact? Uh, maddening, insane, and uh, delightful and joyous and, uh, you know, rhythmic and intense and powerful and passionate. You've been practicing your adjectives and adverbs. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's very, very good. Does, I mean, did, did Jim Morrison influence you, Rog? No, I couldn't stand their music. me. <laughs> 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 Come on, you wanted that no, youthful I, pout. No, no. I mean, they were, West, they were kind of West Coast America. We, we were London. Yeah. And uh, Didn't these guys, they I were like, before uh, us. I mean, with, uh, we, I don't think we influenced you guys. If anything, you guys uh, had a little influence on us. This man influenced Jim Morrison. I don't, I don't think it went the other way around. Jim Morrison I obviously influenced, influenced him at the you. Yellow White when he drunk my bloody Southern Comfort. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. You I mean, got I, him drunk, I, man. You were plotting. I got you Jim Morrison drunk with you started <laughs> He was a virtual virgin. I had a Got full over. bottle of Southern Comfort yeah. and I had one swig out of it and I said, want a drink, Jim? Exactly. Yeah. Well, see, that's... And he gave it back <laughs> empty. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Keith Mooney would have eaten the bottle, so you were lucky. <laughs> now, Chris, did either of these bands have an influence on you? You know, it's like, just listening to all this, it's like, you know, talking about taking trips and all this yeah. stuff. I mean, I, I never smoked marijuana or took a trip or yeah, anything. I'm missing you, know. you already. Yeah. An American prayer. Yes. Um, what was it like going back in the studio recording uh, with a ghost? Of course, you had Jim's voice in your ears. He was in the earphones. John and Robbie and I are in the recording studios about four months, five months ago. We're playing our music. We're hearing Jim in the earphones. When you're in the studio, the singer is always in a, uh, in a soundproof booth. It's called a vocal room or whatever the hell it's called. And you're playing your music. You're with the other guys. And he's off there. You go back into the studio, and all four of you are there to listen. And he wasn't there, man. It was, it was like a ghost. You're yeah, right. It was, uh, the spirit was there. The energy was there. But the physical presence wasn't there anymore. Was it uh, boogity boogity? No, 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 man. <laughs> no, it's not oogity boogity. <laughs> okay, just thought I'd ask. Okay, well, you did, and no, it wasn't like that. <laughs> oh, well, that's a bit disappointing. Uh, Ray, Roger, Chris, don't move from these seats right. because we've got something very special yeah, Ray, for you. Here's one I know you can okay. answer because okay. I know uh, on Strange Days you actually played an entire song backwards. Backwards, For, for yes, reasons which yes, escaped yes, me. Yes. What is the most uh, bizarre musical effect you ever attempted? Uh, probably playing a piano piece, an entire piano piece backwards, starting writing the music out, reading it from top to bottom, left to right, and instead flipping the tape over, starting at the bottom, 
and continuing along one, two, three, four, measure by measure by measure by measure, getting up to the top until, oh my God, the end of the song, I've got two more measures to go, it should begin, ah, and it happened. Wouldn't it have been easier just to write it the other way around? Whoa. <laughs> Suddenly the 60s make sense. Psychedelic, yeah. right here. Okay, you've got it. Now you understand it. No. Boy, this was a bad idea. <laughs> Man, this is like a lineup out of a police station. I like it. It's great. No, I thought, you know. <laughs> we didn't do nothing. When are you going to let us go? <laughs> No, no, I no, could never talk. It wasn't even the, even the question, but who cares? Um, okay, no, I'll try another one. I'll try, I'll try another well, question. <laughs> Oh, we, helped, we helped them out a few times. Many yeah. people, many people did. <laughs> do, do, do you know, the and they had the whole line of penises. Yes. Cross to cross. Yes. Yeah. In various stages of erection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever keep track of where you're Apparently, <laughs> some. some the whole new meaning to hard rock, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that somebody stole them. Somebody stole uh, them? One of the girl's managers, she, one of the girls actually got a manager, and he stole the penises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and he was going to put them in some of his. Yeah, right. Ooh, <laughs> a, good idea. But That's she's now suing him. Took, if, you, if you ever kept track of where's his, where his went. Uh, yeah, did you keep track of where yours went? You could have asked him that. No, I don't. No, I, I, I don't uh, uh, God forbid, I, I hate to think where mine Rock and roll are. Hall of Fame. <laughs> 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 was that... Uh, is that the Hall of Fame or Hall of yeah, Fame? Hall of <laughs> it's that accent. Look, guys, uh, it seems to me we have here the makings of an extraordinary supergroup. Yes, we do. Capable maybe of singing, but not maybe of answering a question. So um, <laughs> we have some instruments here, uh, a variety of top quality instruments uh, made by skilled <laughs> artisans here at Channel 7. Um, and uh, so what about after the break? So we had a meeting, you know, when you was gone. Yeah? You're out of the band. <laughs> <laughs> Down. He both tried to pull us down. He both tried to pull us down. 